Good morning. In the year when London hosts the 2012 Olympics, we wanted to celebrate the spectrum of sporting achievement at Manchester High. Good morning, Mrs. Hewitt, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the Bridgewater Hall this morning to celebrate the founding of Manchester High School for Girls in 1874. Our school opened for the first time on January 19th, 1874 in exactly the same year as the 11-year-old Baron de Coubertin, the father of the modern Olympic movement, started at his newly opened secondary school in Paris. So, in 2012, as the nation counts down to the start of the London 2012 Olympic Games, we decided to look at the history of sport at Manchester High. When Manchester High was founded, sport for women was frowned upon as unladylike. It was thought that strenuous exercise was dangerous to a woman's health and might even stop her having children. So, rather than the PE lessons that we have today in school, the girls did a form of gymnastics called calisthenics. Baffled, we sent our archive team to find out more about this early form of gymnastics. of the history of sport at Manchester High would be complete without reference to our famous old girl, the late Sunny Lowry. I am proud to be the house captain of Lowry House, named in her honour. In 1933, Sunny was only the fifth British woman to swim the Channel. Determined not to be beaten, Sunny's third Channel attempt was made in August 1933 from Cap Griesnes to St Margaret's near Folkestone. After 15 hours and 41 minutes, she reached St. Margaret's Bay, only the fifth British woman ever to swim the channel. Linda turned her achievements in art and swimming into thriving businesses and I'm delighted to invite Linda to speak to us now. I have here some little yellow stretchy men and I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to stretch. I've also got one for each of you to take home next week after your PE lesson. Stretching makes you feel good. Everything you go on to do in life gets better if you stretch yourself. On behalf of your old school, I would like to thank you for coming back to Manchester and speaking to us on Founders Day. We're not stretching a point when we say that we really enjoyed your talk. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them, through his great power from the beginning. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. We remember William James Kennedy, Benjamin Morgan Cowie, Matilda Mary Raby. We are grateful to them and to all those who have worked unstintingly through the years to preserve and develop the school. Oh, and I believe...
believe there is a finale. Survive.